What about true crime interests you guys the most? I, I think that the reason that I'm a filmmaker and the reason that I'm that I'm you know interested in true crime is because I'm so interested in human behavior, and there's no place that you can witness it better than in a true story where you actually see like this series of events actually happens. I think that's why I endlessly watch it. I don't consider myself a terribly dark person, but oftentimes when I see an incredible true crime story, I find myself fascinated and pondering how it could have happened, definitely how it worked with Eileen Warnes' story. It is hard raising a mixed race child waiting on her skin to dog it. It ain't never gonna dog it. You gonna cry about it, baby, huh? What you got to cry about, it, huh? It's a noir thriller and it's, you know, sort of the inspiration, the real story behind Chinatown. You know, the sort of the simple thematic arc is, you know, a girl sets off to find out who she is and finds out the worst things are true. And, and then what happens next? At its core, it's like a, an identity and adoption story. We all are in search for our identity in this world. Many people who are adopted end up having this additional layer of trying to figure out what that means. In this case, it's like if every single thing you found out was the worst thing you could possibly find out, what does one do and how does one steal, grab their own identity back? That's what I loved about it. Um, I think many people can relate to feeling, feeling like the outsider in, in things. Um, I related to it a, a great deal and that was kind of the hook that personally I could find in order to relate to her because her, relate, her situation is so just so abnormal and so unrelatable that at first you're just like like how like how can I make how can I make that feel truthful for me and so that was kind of the personal hook that I found and I think you know what was so fun as a writer was there was all these huge uh you know suspense and thriller beats that were so big they sort of took care of a lot of the pressure of of narrative and then you could spend more time in a smaller human story of this girl or of Jay Singletary, Chris Pine's character, and kind of roll around in a little more of the human side of things. Thank you guys so much for gonna end this with our ring toss. Oh, way off. See, it's all about just volume. I think it's volume. Mm. Close, honey. Almost. A little more arc. <gasps> yeah! Yeah, last did! ring. The last <laughs> ring. Thank you. That's so Thank good. You so much, you guys. Thanks so a lot. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Best moment of my life, you guys. <laughs> <laughs>